Archangel Michael appears to Elizabeth and Nico in South Africa, Part 1. Praise Yahweh and Yahushua have been blessed and honored from heaven. June 27, 2006 Sister Joanne came from Europe to live and minister with us. She is such a great blessing and help. On the first night she arrived in South Africa, Nico and I took her along with our 18-year-old son to my favorite seaside restaurant. We were sitting there when I looked up at a dark-haired, tan-skinned, very handsome man who stared back with a look of recognition and love. His huge smile was focused totally on me because it was so unusual. I am going to try to explain that look on his face. Only my husband Nico has looked at me like that. For example, after I go into a restaurant and wait for Nico to park the vehicle, Nico comes searching for me and, on recognize me, his face suddenly lights up and he smiles. This stranger was looking at me the same way. I didn't smile at first because I was so shocked. First, he looked at me with a spiritual connection and as though he knew me. Also, he was exceptionally handsome. Not only that, but my husband was sitting right next to me. I quickly bent my head and thought, I don't know this man, why would he be looking at me like that? I said to myself, I must be imagining things, so I looked up again. The man was still staring at me with that big grin on his face, totally focused on me as if no one else was in the restaurant. Not knowing what else to do, I smiled back and mouthed the word, Hi! The restaurant was so crowded that you could barely hear individuals speak. He stood inside on the entranceway before the tables. I, don't, I didn't know Nico had been watching me until he lovingly teased me, saying, Don't think I didn't see that man smile at you. Then you smile back and say, Hi! I was so embarrassed for Nico knows I only have eyes for him and never look at any other man. So I quickly said, he must be one of us and sees the Holy Spirit on me or anointing. Joanne and our beloved son were facing the other direction. They didn't know what was going on until Nico said this, and we all laughed. Nico said the man just appeared and looked at no one but me. Other than Nico and me, no one else seemed to notice him. Neither of us even remembers his clothes or the color of them. We'd know if it wasn't a robe. We'd remember that. All Nico and I remember is his face. That was his only reason and motive. Nico hugged me and teased me and we all laughed. Later that night during prayer it was revealed to us who this man was. Yahushua said to me, You entertain angels unaware. Yahushua reminded me why the man looked familiar to me. I had seen his face before, not only on earth but also in heaven. Many years ago, during a severe time of crisis in my life, I was walking down a sidewalk in Hammond, Indiana. I had not yet given my life to Yahushua because no one had introduced him to me. I was walking on the sidewalk in my own world of pain when I made eye contact with a man. He stopped and stared at me, and I stopped and stared at him. Both of us were smiling, looking to one another's eyes, never saying a word. It was like I recognized him, but yet had never met him on earth. 
I couldn't get over how exceptionally handsome he was. And I didn't understand why he would want to look at me like he knew me. I now know the man was the same man I saw in the restaurant in South Africa. The same thoughts were in my head recently in South Africa. Afterwards, we parted ways. I just continued walking. But to this day, I will always believe I saw my angel. Back then, I didn't even know the name of any angel. This angel's name is Michael, the archangel in heaven. Nico said he knew it was all about a spiritual connection between this man and me, because before this, Nico had prayed that the next time an angel comes to Elizabeth, that he would see him also. Well, we, he saw him too. I just have to wonder, did anyone else see him? The place was packed, and we had the last table. Where did he go? Nico said it was like he disappeared. One second there, next gone. And yet he never walked out the door. The next day, June 28, 2006, as confirmation, Brother Conrad from Africa contacted us. Brother Conrad called me and asked me as a prayer intercessor how everything was going. This was the first phone call I have received from him. I told him about the angelic visitation. He surprised my husband and me and told us he had seen his angel appear to him. In the form of a human about a week before, he has seen the same man about 20 times. Praise Yahushua. I truly believe the bride of Yahushua is seeing or will see their personal guardian angels appear before them in one way or another. I know that some of mine include Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Michael is always sent when I'm in dangerous situations. Lately in Africa, I bet I've kept him busy fighting the evil away. I know that Michael is appearing to me for a very good reason. He wants to let me know that this ministry and those with us have an extra covering of protection. Remember, Michael is the ruling angel over all the other angels. He will personally throw Satan in the bottomless pit and lock him up. Only one angel will do that, not an army of angels. This is how strong he is. Michael is also the main angel that protects Israel. I am honored that one of his tasks is protecting me. He was told by Yahushua to appear to me. I believe he also has come to deliver an important message. Will it have anything to do with Yahushua's return for his bride? Has he come to give me a message for Rosh Hashanah 2006? Only time will tell.